Let's talk to Ryan Littlestone. He's a trader and analyst at ForexFlow.live. Uh, very good morning to you, Ryan. Good morning, Nick. How are you? Yep, Monday morning. Enough said. Let's take a look at a couple of charts you sent to us. Uh, let's kick off with the weekly Great British Pound against the US dollar. A nice rounding bottom in sort of charting parlance. Has this, further, has this got further to go at this stage? Um, that's the question. Um, I think what, what I'm looking for in the pound right now is that we're going to be heading into the next round of uh, real Brexit crunch talks as we head to the next European summit in March. Uh, we've got uh, EU's Barnier uh, over for tea this, this, uh, today and uh, I think for a couple of days this week. And I'm, I'm going to be looking at uh, actually some weakness in the pound um, for the next couple of weeks because I think there's, there's a lot of risk now that the Brexit talk is going to ramp up. Um, as we know from from last year when we, we had the phase one stuff, there was a lot of, of to and fro in and, and the comments were largely negative. Um, you know, the UK would come out and say, we're looking to do this. Then it would get shot down by Europe or, you know, the DUP would, would dig their feet into the ground. And what we saw is, is negative headlines constantly. And I think that's going to be the theme for the next couple of weeks going into uh, the summit where no doubt we'll probably get a last minute deal with, as we did last uh, last December. Understood. OK, well, let's take a quick look at the four hourly chart in terms of the key levels. Um, you've obviously got what looks like a double top in charting parlance to me with a lower, um, basically right head, which would show a sign of weakness. The sellers coming in. Is it that simple? I think it is at the moment. You know, it's had a, had a great run this, this month and even through, uh, as I say, through December. You know, we're, we're up, uh, well, been up over a thousand pips. And, you know, that's a big, big run in a short period of time. And as we know in markets, nothing goes in a straight line forever. And yep. this is looking like a quite significant top up towards, you know, the 143, high 142s. Um, for, for traders at the moment, that's the good area to, to lean against for shorts. If you get a break of those areas, then obviously the, the trend is going to resume. Uh, but as I say, on, on look, if you're looking for weakness going into the, all these Brexit talks, then leaning against those higher levels, you know, selling the rallies, uh, I think is the way to go forward and closer to March. Understood. Uh, just to wrap up, downside targets over the next couple of weeks? Um, I'll be looking, you know, anywhere down towards 139, 138. I think it, that's, that's a reasonable target to look at for shorts yeah. and uh, see for, for longs to, to start building up again if, if the news isn't too bad and we're getting closer to that March deadline. Understood. Ryan, thank you very much indeed for your thought-provoking stuff. That's Ryan Littlestone. Thank you. Thank you.